picture this. You're traveling across the world to go to a funeral for your cousin's dead baby. Except it's not a real baby. It's a Fisher and Price baby. You see, you didn't know until you got there, so you packed 20 undies for seven days. Because, well, you're an anxious mess. But you also packed grandma's ring from when she got married to Bert. Oh, oh Bert. Lovely man. You lose your luggage when you land in Ireland because, well, Ireland. You're worried sick about your nanny's ring and your fanny's keepings. Come to find out, you're never getting any of that back because Emily Smith, with 10 million followers on TikTok, bought your luggage at an auction. We've seen clothing hauls, makeup hauls, and hell, even how much bullduck someone's bought off of TikTok shops, so now we got noodle hauls even. Uh, let me introduce you to TikTokers who are buying lost luggage and using this as a chance to make a haul video. Apparently, there is an entire market where you can go and buy people's unclaimed and lost luggage. For a small price of 80 pound or 150 Australian dollars, you can go through Margaret's sacred belongings. Her undie pants, her bras, her perfumes, her daughter's ashes. Yeah, it's pretty grim to say the very least. I mean, why in the hell would you want to buy somebody's personal belongings in the first place? Oh, that's right. TikTok haul to show people that you're a weirdo. I bought somebody's lost luggage from London Heathrow Airport and here's what rocked up at my door. It cost me a grand total of 80 pounds. So I thought I'd open it on camera and we can decide if it's worth it. Okay, so I- Yeah, we can decide if spending 80 pound on somebody's personal belongings is worth it for my- stupid little TikTok video. Could you imagine people finding out that you wear jorts in your downtime? Look at these dirty, dirty jorts. Ugh. Started off by taking off this black wrapping to reveal this blue Dulcy suitcase. These go for about 200 pounds brand new. So that's a pretty good start. Now it's time to whack it open. I was actually super nervous. I had to cut off this tag to get inside. And here's what the suitcase looked like when I opened it. It's definitely a woman's suitcase. So make sure you follow along for part two where we go through it and i don't think that's the politically correct statement that we should be perpetuating in 2024 now is it emily smith imagine right you've got no money to transport your luggage back home because airlines are greedy bastards and want to shill hundreds of dollars from you to get your belongings back to you something that they should honestly have full responsibility for but through all of that trouble and stress and depression over losing Samantha's ashes, only to open up TikTok and see that some influencer is whipping out 10 year old undies in front of thousands of individuals. And like, you're telling me that this isn't unethical? Purchasing someone's belongings and parading it on TikTok, acting like it's just another clothing haul, almost feels dystopian in a sense. Like how do people even feel comfortable in treating someone's personal belongings like they're just nothing, like they're disposable? Because I know that this TikToker got off camera after the suitcase revealed to her that, yeah, it's it's just personal belongings. Okay, you're not going to find a 50 karat gold ring in there, sweetie. Now, you could be sitting there saying to yourself in your dark, dark bedroom, well, drama queen, don't you think that is just a little dramatic? Well, no, no, it's not. Because I understand that morbid curiosity is a thing and it would be interesting to see what's in someone else's luggage that we have no clue that they exist and they have no clue that we exist. So it could be like a fun little game. <laughs> But nobody intentionally loses their luggage and is just okay with that. I don't know about you, but when I am traveling, I try to take the very least possible stuff that, you know, I I would have to accept it would possibly get lost by this budget airline. But even then, losing what little that I take with me would genuinely 
fuck me up because that is my stuff. I cannot, like, I genuinely cannot handle the thought of someone touching, putting their grippers on my stuff. Eh, I don't know where your hands have been. But now some dumbass TikToker has my stuff and is parading it on TikTok, showing everybody what my dirty undies look like. Losing luggage isn't by choice. It is due to the airline's incompetence that the paying customer most of the time has to pay for. And in a lot of cases that I have come across, airlines will try and shell out hundreds from you that you just don't have. So may as well let it all go and buy some new undies. You can shop people's unclaimed and lost luggage. Thrift, people that are just looking for good deals. Think about it. The people that are actually not coming back for their bags, I mean, these people typically have a little bit of money. You could No, people with lost luggage typically don't have a lot of money. That's kind of why it's lost, because they can't get it back to them. They can't reunite with their personal belongings. Now, yes, of course, that's not to say that a lot of the lost and unclaimed luggage comes from pretty wealthy people, but that's not the majority that we're talking about here. Find some luxury items. Let me tell you how it works. The airline attempts to get the bags back to their rightful owners. They take months to uh, contact them. I don't know, the contact number isn't right or they just don't wanna come back and get their bags. Again, that's just not true in a lot of cases. That's why this entire like lost luggage haul thing that is going on over on TikTok is so strange to me. It's so icky, bro. And y'all know how much I hate using that word. Ew, ear breathing. <laughs> you give me the ick. In a lot of cases that I have read up on, unfortunately, people can't afford getting their bags back to them because yes there are asshole greedy bastardry airline companies that want you to pay to get your luggage reunited back home with you i feel like obviously if it's a case where the airlines just genuinely cannot get through to the person whose luggage is lost and they can't find whose luggage this belongs to so they really have no other choice but to it off to somewhere that will profit off of it. I get that. I understand that because that's a lot of responsibility to have. But my problem is, is that a lot of the time this isn't done. Airlines, a lot of the time, don't do their due diligence. And you hear all the time of people losing their luggage and trying their absolute darndest to get it back in their hands. And they just never get it back. And we'll get into even more why it's weird in just a little bit. These bags sit in a facility for months, but after a few months, they go ahead and sell everything to the public. To do this is of course by an auction. Now there's so many auctions online, but the thing with the auctions is it, it just shows the bag. Like you don't get to see what's inside. It's kind of like storage wars, but without opening the storage. So, the bag may look expensive, but it might just have a bunch of dirty clothes and stuff. Isn't worth it. You really take. And you also got to take into account, right? Like a lot of the time in hotels, you can't wash your clothes. So when I go traveling and I am gone longer than three days, I have a bag that I put my dirty undies in, my dirty clothes in, and I put that back into my luggage. Oh, that's actually kind of gross. Oh my God. Imagine the stench. So you also got to think about that too. Like it's a little bit of a hazard just because of that because it's like i've worn that i may have been pushing pee that day keep that in mind too you know your chances with that kind of thing or it could have expensive jewelry expensive skincare all kinds of stuff something called unclaim baggage store now just google that in your state and they have specific stores where this can happen some states don't have it i know like louisiana we don't have um an actual physical store but you can go to unclaim baggage store.com and you can look at the actual items there. You don't have to get a bag and kind of hope and guess. It's just that something still feels so illegal buying somebody's lost luggage. You can tell me all day until you're blue in the face that airlines send luggage to these stores and auction them off because they've been searching oh so tirelessly for the rightful owner, but I'm gonna stand here on my business as well. I 
don't believe that for a second. Seeing the videos of people touring this particular shop in question feels a tad grimy to me because we have all these people's possible work computers just out on display. Somebody's coat that their dead family member gave to them and now it's just gone like that. I know that I may be pretty nitpicky here, but when I see comments like, bro, one time I found and bought my lost luggage on their site. Is something to be wary of. Wheel, 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 something to be wary of. And look, maybe this person is just telling fibs, but I don't really think that's the case here. There are a plethora of terrible reviews for this unclaimed baggage shop, which is funny because they are quite literally selling random people's belongings. However, they have also been allegedly scamming some customers in the process as well. This place is a scam. Sold me a secondhand Kindle for 75 bucks with a four digit serial number. I am now having to return the Kindle. I was shocked at the prices. Some were likely higher than when the product was new, insanely high priced for used clothing. Are we really pretending to be shocked over a pretty low key unethical practice is not only taking place here, but is expensive. Think back to when we were talking about how airlines will sometimes charge their customers a very high price to get their luggage back to their customer. But you think that a store selling lost luggage would be any better? Don't waste your time. This place is a dump. Most clothes are outdated, shoes are overpriced, and you can get electronics new for just a few bucks more. Max, you do realize that the clothes that you are complaining of being outdated probably belong to some granny, some grandpa. Maybe wiping those electronics and restoring them back to factory settings ain't a cheap practice either. I really just can't get over the fact that people are genuinely surprised that people's lost and unclaimed luggage would be so expensive. Of course, people would try and profit heavy off of that. Are you serious? On our way home from our Christmas travels, we stopped at Unclaimed Baggage, and it was so exciting. We stopped in Scottsboro, Alabama, just for this place, and it was so neat. Basically, this store sells exactly what it says, Unclaimed Baggage, and there's my husband. All right, so here we are walking in, and I just kind of wanted to get the first, like, real glimpse of the store, because I've never been in before, and this was so exciting. Let me tell you, this store had everything. Yeah. Of course they're going to have everything. They're an unclaimed baggage store, bro. Jewelry, fine pieces of jewelry, so many things. I found these express jeans. They were only $25.99. Only $25.99? That, that isn't even close to what thrift store prices are supposed to be. And if you really think about it, this is kind of like a gentrified thrift store, but you know, I'm just saying. And new with tags. This Gigi Pip hat is also brand new with tags and then I, I ended up buying her. She was only $35.99. Who the f*** is Gigi Pip? Why are you paying $36 for this hat? Who is Gigi Pip? They had a ton of items that were brand new with tags. It was insane. They even have designer bags as well and there's a Birkin. They also have a dressing room so you can try on your clothes. And still a million pairs of sunglasses to go through. I found another Brixton hat. Who is Brixton? Who is Gigi Pip? I hate you if you partake in this nonsense. Like, genuinely can't stand ya. It's not a matter of buying this stuff because you're low on funds and there's really no way for you to attain these items because you're low income and the 1% attack you in the booty every day. That shit is expensive and quite honestly stupid because when you really think about it, the people who frequent this shop have a lot of money to spend. I understand that people may disagree with this video entirely, but again, I'm standing on business here because I cannot help but feel really ick and gross seeing people's luggage being sold as if 
it's nothing just for profit. There is something so weird to me about the entire process. Like I had no idea about the rabbit hole of people buying suitcases to do TikTok hauls with and just chuck it out because it's not your belongings. You have no idea what's in this suitcase. Anything could be in there. And that is the worst part about it. Anything, obviously not like dangerous weapons or anything of the sort. It's usually just shitters. And you wanna know why? Because people are just traveling with their personal belongings. It was just for the TikTok video though, drama queen. But that just for a TikTok video drama queen is now in the bin. So what was the point? Like really, you think there would be more than 20 pairs of undies, some shirts and some butt cream? I, I just, I really wanna know. So with all of that being said, everybody, what are your thoughts and opinions on this? Have you unfortunately been somebody who has lost luggage and either never gotten it back or seeing it being sold because supposedly the airlines tried to contact you so many times, but they never did. Let me know down the comments section below and I really want to thank you for joining me in Yappersville today. I really appreciate every single one of you and every time you click on a video of mine to listen to, it's actually insane. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves. I'm sorry. I really don't want lipstick on my teeth. Uh. <laughs>